right, you can see we got our PSE bow there in the background, Carbon Express arrows. Shooting uh, Magnus Stinger broadheads. Tell y'all what, it didn't take long for action to pick up this morning. It just cracking daylight and big old, big old boar hog come in. And uh, I'm, I'm watching back here, trying to see if I can, I think I heard him go down. And uh, I barely was getting the camera set up. And this dude come out like I heard him coming. And uh, he come in 10 yards. And I smoked him. I put it right through his pumping station. It's been about an hour since we shot this hog. I think I'm going to slip down, see if we can find our arrow. Look for some blood. I know about where he went down at, I think. So I'm going to see if we can find him. Get him drug out of this stand location. That's where a hog come in right there on that rice bran. A pretty little spot right here. He took off right down through there. I think we just get down and see if we can find him. Right there. That's about to be good. Probably gonna stop feeding in here with these acorns falling. Yeah, I do not see the arrow. He was he was standing right here in the edge of that rice bran. I saw the arrow sink right behind his shoulder. There's some blood right there. Got good blood. Do not see my arrow anywhere. You can see some blood on them bushes where when he where when he took off. You can see where he went right up through here. There's some blood. There's some blood right there on those leaves. I'm still seeing blood right here. Where he went through here. You can see it right there on that leaf. Right up through there. Good blood. Right there, right there. Magnus Stinger Broadhead. You know, when I'm hunting and I shoot an animal, I'm always, when I shoot, I always listen for where I heard that animal go or make a move from his normal path or whatever. And I heard this hog come running straight down in here about probably 60, 70 yards. And he kind of hesitated and then he took a, a left. And that's what I'm looking for. I'm trying to find right now where he took that left and I just found it. Um, I hear a lot of people say, oh, he just went that way. And they really don't know. They wasn't listening or get excited and they don't know. So if you haven't hunted a lot and you shoot an animal... You know, just make sure you pay attention to which way you heard him last, too, because that'll help you a lot of times on that trail. And I'll show you what I'm talking about right here. You can see this game trail right here, this game trail. He come down, and he, he come over this log here. And right here, you can see where he staggered, and that's where he turned. He, he turned and hooked off to the left in here. And that's where I heard him last was going out of way. So that gives me a good direction where this hog went. See, you can see right there what I'm talking about. He's staggering here, so he's getting close to going down. Blood everywhere. Blood all over the place right here. He staggered right here. Blood up there, and he staggered. And look at there. Finally found my area down here about 70 yards later. As old Uncle Ted says, mystical flight of the air. Look at that goodness right there. The red is covered in red. Look at that. That's a beautiful sight right there. Just a little tip, you know, pay attention on that kind of thing and Sometimes, especially if you're in a pine plantation or something, that'll save you a deer right there. Just one little hiccup on the blood trail where they turn. You know, animals don't always run straight, so you gotta 
you got to look for that. Just a little tip there. That air will come out. He opened up pretty good right in here. You can see the blood on the leaves. I'm telling you, it opened him up. Big time. You can see right there where he went up the creek. And that's just blood all over the creek bank over here. Look right there. That's what I'm talking about. This is a big old boar. He's... He's done started making some heavy, heavy tracks here where he went across this creek. You know, a lot of times you get in some leaves and the blood gets thin. Always look at your logs and stuff, you know. See right here, it's not a likely place for him to come across all this thick stuff, but he's hurting bad. You can pick up the blood on these, on these logs like that. When I'm tracking, I always keep my bow ready and go slow keep an eye out you don't ever know when another hog or deer or something may slip in on you squirrels going crazy over here you know we found that blood on that log right there this hog come up here and we found some blood blood right here and it looked like that this hog would have just kept going that away and I come out here and I panned all over the place I ain't found no blood nowhere when that happens just back up and come back to where you are at and, and what I did I come back right here to that log again come to right here where that was and I got to looking right here and noticed a spot over here this hog come up here, come around this bush, and made a 90 degree turn right here, and went downhill. So, you can see, like right there, blood's getting a little thin in that spot. Hogs sometimes don't bleed a lot. You see that hard track right there, and you can see the blood on the roots. It's a big old tough boar hog, he's running good bit further than I thought he would. I'm gonna try to recover him though. Look at that. I see a big old nasty looking black boar laying down there. I'm gonna tell y'all something right here. I would never ever trust an animal laying like that right there he may be dead but there ain't very many animals that lay there and die straight up and down like that i walked up on several deer like this and that dude would jump up and uh take off now, i know i hit this hog good right behind the shoulder but could have hit liver or something and I don't know if he's dead or not. I don't see him moving. But I'm going to go real slow right here. I don't want to get get uh, cut. And there ain't many trees around here to climb. So I don't know as I've ever seen one die sitting up like that and not roll over. But I see the hole in the side of him and it is absolutely perfect always make sure big bowl oh Some chompers right there He'd wear you out. That's what I'm talking about right there. Right, sunk it right behind the shoulder, angling down, perfect. Double long shot. Did him in. No more corn for him. You know, we're trying to do a little bit better job of filming our hunts this year and got several cameras I was setting up. I didn't even have time to get my camera set up. This hog coming in. 
I had to shoot him right then. Anybody that's hog hunted, they know if they fool around and catch wind of you or something, I was good on wind this morning, but if they catch wind of you or think something ain't right, they're out of there. And you don't want to you don't want to pass up an opportunity to get one of them rascals out of the woods. You know what I mean? So just do the best you can sometimes. Got a little bit of footage of him. Got the footage of tracking him, recovering him. A few tips in there on tracking. Going to try to add some of that kind of stuff this year in our content. Try to get some better hunting videos out to y'all. Um, we put a lot of time and effort into our fishing videos. But we're going to have a lot more content like this. Hopefully we we'll get some deer in them. Instead of all these rascals. But we got to get them out of the way first, I guess, this year. They everywhere. Y'all subscribe to our YouTube channel if you hadn't already. Be sure to like and share our videos. Click the bell so you get the notifications on all the new videos. We'll have a lot of good stuff coming out. In the meantime, y'all stay tuned. God's Country Hunting and Fishing. Keeping it real.